Welcome to my channel guys and today we're going to be talking about the Palantir demo day and let's talk about where the stock's going to be going. So before we do get into this video, if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button and also give this video a like, that would be much appreciated. And yeah, let's talk about this demo day. I know you guys like seeing my portfolio, well, my shares in Palantir. You just like to see where I'm at and how I'm getting on. Well, this is how I'm getting on at the moment. I'm up 34% with Palantir and I've got 119 shares. So yeah, that's just a little briefing. I know you guys just like seeing my updated holdings with Palantir. So yeah, I thought I'd show you guys. So Palantir Foundry started off with the demo day and it looks amazing. Just what we wanted to see. We knew how good it was and it was just nice to see a bit more of it. Companies will be able to make quick and good decisions with this platform. It's a shame I can't actually find a video to be able to play you guys, but I do with the Gotham and that we'll get into that later. And remember with Palantir, and they mentioned this in the presentation, they're not wanting to replace humans. They're wanting to adapt humans and be able to help humans out with all sorts of things and that's the really that's the good thing and I, I i like that from a company because that's the worry robots replacing people and then they end up doing our jobs and then they just take our jobs like it i, I don't like that it's kind of a scary thought if i'm honest and that's what's good about palantir because it gives you all this information it simplifies it all in one little thing instead of having massive spreadsheets and everything and then that human that person on the marketing team or the whatever thing on that team that person can help and make good quick decisions instead of spending days and weeks trying to sort out one little thing when Palantir will be able to sum it all up and help them out. One thing I would mention about the Palantir demo day I was a little gutted in the sense of Alex Karp didn't do a speech and I feel like that could have maybe brought the stock price up but that's just me like do you know what I mean like it was it was going down a bit the stock price but that it doesn't really matter anyway because it just gives us a bit more of a discount on the stock price and I'm actually really not bothered if it goes down because long term this is going to be solid like the stuff they were showing like I don't think some people understand how advanced and good this is going to be in the next I don't know like few years so next up is Gotham that's then other products they've got at Palantir sit back and relax I'm going to play you the video clip of the Gotham presentation
isn't that cool? That video, that honestly, that I was very impressed. I I can't believe how cool and good it looks. Like it's it's almost like a li like a little video game or things you see in the films that you didn't think was going to be possible, but now it's now it's the day. Now it's the time where these softwares are going to be introduced, and they are being introduced. Governments are buying massive contracts on this, and I see why now. Like it looks incredible, and the information it gives is unbelievable. This product's going to be able to save so many lives with this product. And I know, I don't think this is 100% because I remember Alex Karp saying in, in the interview and avoiding this question, but has this helped the situation with the Bin Laden situation? Did they end up being able to find him through this software with Gotham? I mean, it sounds like it did help. It's going to help with terrorism. It's going to help with well, just all sorts of things, really. I think that's something I want to be a part of. And that's why I want to invest in a company like Palantir. So this is another thing I want to show you guys because now Palantir demo days done. There's now the next thing, which is earnings and the lockup period. So with the earnings. So in Q4 2020, Apollo managed 150,000 plus upgrades per week across environments up from 40,000 upgrades per week in Q2 2020. So this is just good news to hear. It's showing that they're growing and we know they're growing. The amount of contracts they're getting is unbelievable. I know this is ridiculous maybe to say, but it might not even be. Imagine if Tesla end up getting some sort of contract with Palantir and start using their systems like Foundry or, or anything like that. That'd be huge, that'd be massive. Imagine if all these sort of companies start using Palantir. This, is, this could be huge. So we did go down pre-market 3%. And to be honest with you, it was either going to be one of those where it sells off with demo day or it keeps going up. But I think the sell off is very, very healthy and very good. The next support levels are $31 and also we've got one of $28. I don't think it's going to go to the $28. I think we could see it go to $31, but it's not a guarantee that it's going to hit there. It could end up just consolidating where we are right now in the next two days or day or so. I don't really think we will see a huge run up as such. I think it's going to consolidate, if not go down a bit, which is fine, which is fine, because even if you, when you look at the MACD and stuff, it's crossed and we're just going down on a on the short term, a downward trend. When I say a short term, I mean a very short term. Even on the three hours, we're gonna cross the MACD and we look like we could be heading down a little bit. What about the one hour? One hour, we are in that kind of downtrend, you could say, as such. So yeah, that's just my opinions on the short term. So when I say short term, I mean like a few days, maybe this week, hopefully later, like on the Friday, we could see some really good positive news and stuff, but, Going on to the next week, I can see us, to be honest with you. Okay, I've done a rough line, and honestly, this is the most rough line ever, but it was just a bit easier to explain kind of what my thoughts were and where it's gonna probably head. Obviously, I could be getting this completely wrong, but this is just how I think it will go, because most of the times with massive events, they either sell off or they just keep going up. It looks like it's gonna be a bit of a sell off. Like I said, with the MACDs crossing short term, it looks like we could see a bit of a downturn, but, like I said, it's only gonna be for a few days and then we'll start, people start realizing and picking up, you know what, these earnings are gonna do very well compared to last earnings. And we've got earnings on the on the 11th. So yeah, I think that the week before earnings or whatever around there, we'll just start seeing it keep going up and hitting $40, $40 I reckon. I think we can see $40. So again, that is just a brief little analysis you could say to be honest with you my thoughts on where i think this is going to head let me know what you think do you think we're just going to skyrocket or do you think we're going to see a bit of a correction and yeah just consolidate or just go down a little bit and then we'll start seeing a bit of a run up before earnings let me know in the comments how many shares have you got all that good stuff i want to hear all of that and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video